focus of our keynote is for the young people, engagement of the young people. So we want to amplify the voice from them and we want to engage them as many as possible. Last year, Secretary General of the United Nations launched the Youth 2030 strategy to engage more young people and to amplify their voices. So the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs also followed that strategy and we launched the competition in collaboration with Space Generation Advisory Council in February this year called Space for Youth. For the competition, from the age between 18 to 35, 146 people applied from 46 countries based on the question asking them how can space contribute to sustainable development goals, SDGs. So each applicant to pick up one SDG to describe how can space contribute to their selected SDG. For our first, first round, we asked them to submit three minutes video and then the next round, were selected they submitted the paper actual paper and then finally we have three winners to the ISC this afternoon presenting their ideas on the SDGs having the mentors from the space leaders for example Pasco from DLR, John Francois, ESA astronaut, Joseph from ESA director from the ESA Earth Observation and of course our Shimonetta Di Pippo from the UNUSAR and Kai Ube from President from IISL. So those high-level people are going to advise for the young people and to take the ideas from their suggestions or recommendations and if possible to integrate for their future implementation. I do hope more young people to attend and more people to engage into space activities in variety of perspectives, like many directions. So we want more young people to go together with and from the session we would like to ignite the passion in young people's heart. So the space activities or industries or agencies, whatever, everything related to space, future will be expanded and more exciting. So I want to contribute as well.